Do you want to know how to find retired sets for Lego? In this video, I'm going to give you all my tips on how to find retired Lego sets. Hi, this is Jeremy Stark here with Brick Finds and Flips at BrickFlips.com. Uh, today, we're going to actually go over a uh, just just a, some tips that I have for you as far as knowing everything about Lego retired sets. If you never sold any Legos before, you might be wondering, you know, what is the big deal with retired sets? Everybody is talking about them. Everybody's got their picks for the next retired sets. And it's there's so much information out there. Everybody has their own information, including myself. You know, we, we certainly... Uh, we try to make some predictions ourselves, but we try to be an educated guess on a lot of these different things. Before we get started, if you could, please give us a like below. That way there we know that we're making great videos for you and you found this really helpful for you. Also, if you could hit the subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to get notified of any new videos that we do have. We're coming out with many videos, uh, at least a couple videos every week. So a lot of them are action packed for you and I know you don't wanna miss any of them. Now that we get that out of the way, let's get right into it. So what is what exactly is retired sets for Lego? Uh, first off, Lego has a, a limited run of a production run of a particular set that they will you know make for for anybody at, at any given time. They uh, they will um, normally um, if they have some sets that come out with certain movies, they'll have the set will be released before the movie. And then it will go on a particular timeline as far as when the movie's out. And then it usually retires um, shortly after that. Typically, a lot of sets will go through at least a two-year cycle. So they will uh, be available for purchase usually, you know, usually around at least 18 months to, you know, to 24 months after the set has been released. Now, every set is, there are different things, so that's not always, uh, I mean, you're not always going to find it that way. Lego does have different uh, sets out there that have been available for, for even way longer than that. So some of them like five to six years. Figuring out which one is going to retire versus which one is retired, uh, you know, that that's, the, there's some speculation of that. So, but you can certainly find out the the actual status of it. Um, people are going to, uh, you're going to find on different sites that they're going to have information that they're going to say this set's retiring this, this year and this set's retiring now, or unless it's come from Lego, it's, it's based off of some educated guesses and, you know, maybe there are some, some sort of leaks so that maybe they did have some advanced notes. I'm not saying that they're wrong, uh, but the only, the only place that, that you can be certain of a set is retiring is if you go into lego.com and check it there. So I brought this screen up. I wanted to show you. They uh, there's basically a uh, availability status that you'll have under the product, and it'll tell you, you know, what the current availability is for that particular set. This and this um, there's a page in here. You can actually see these are the different statuses that you'll see for for any of the sets. And if you if it's gonna if it is retired, it will say retired. Now it doesn't. It yeah, it does say re retired pro product right here. So that means that it is no longer being produced by Lego. Now you could still find it in in the retail stores and other stores, maybe online, Amazon, and they may still be available at the retail cost or below the retail cost. A lot of times, um, the retailers will uh, they'll <clears throat> give you a discount, you know, when they're trying to get rid of inventory, and that kind of happens, you know, in the time frame, maybe when it's not necessarily retired, but it's, you know, it's getting close to it. So it's not always linear when it comes to that. But these are the statuses that you can find on here. So if you're going to look for a particular set, uh, you'll you'll see that you'll actually want to go look it up online. So you would just take the set number, the, let's, the Lego set number, and you would just plug it in here and it will tell you if it's retired. And in sometimes what you'll see is it'll actually, if it's getting close to retirement, sometimes the the different statuses that you may see is that it's uh you know 
it's almost retiring retiring soon is what they have it and i don't think they have it on here let me see yeah because these are all retiring soon in here and they you can actually go to a section in here and you can see that they're retiring soon there's for this for this particular one there's some most of the keychains but there are there are some that they're just not telling you that they're retiring soon because personally i think that lego realizes that when they really you know they tell you that a set's retiring that everybody just goes crazy and and grabs all of them up and scoops them up and everything so i think that that's why they kind of keep a tight lip on on that but some of the things that i've seen that i've noticed when when you're trying to get a set is uh, sometimes a lot of times is if it's close to retirement and you see the sold out that might be a good indicator that that it is going to be retiring soon uh, that means that they're completely sold out because sometimes what they'll do is if it's out of stock they'll say temporarily out of stock and they'll tell you that it's going to be back in there um, the other one is too you might see check a product availability you know that might be getting close to retire but usually it's a sold out one that i would see that's close to retirement figuring out which ones there are because as a lego investor you know you don't want to you, you have so much money to, to invest in Lego, so you don't have this unlimited amount of money, at least I, I don't, <laughs> no, most investors don't. So you wanna, you wanna be able to invest at the right time for, for any of these sets. I mean, it's really important because your cash flow and your business is what you really need to have. So if you have a certain amount of cash available to spend on your inventory, your investments, you wanna make sure that you're, that you don't wanna have to you don't want to have to hold on to that product for too long. So one way to do that is to get it at the close to retirement or the retirement when it actually retires. But you also want to make sure that you're able to get some of it. So it's one of those kind of tricky things that, you know, you have to use a little bit of your gut instinct, to be honest with you. But there are some tools and there's some ways that, that I'm going to show you right now to, to help you to find these different retiring sets that are getting close to retirement. I will always look at the Keepa charts. And this is just a good way to to see like other uh, themes or other different sets of how they've gone through in the past historical history of of everything. So you can find out when this is actually been available and when it's been selling. And then you can see when it actually retired or you can see when it drops off as far as when the retail sales stopped on. And this this could help you to figure out what the you know as far as it'll, it'll basically help you figure out um you know different cycles that you might see in this now this doesn't always indicate every you know one that came out just before it may not have the same exact um, time frame for it but like i said a lot of the sets they retire in about two years so you can you can just figure out when the when it actually came in into production it was available and then that two years from there, two or three years, you can say, well, it's going to be somewhere in this vicinity of it. But it's really, it's it's really one of those things that all these different sets they they have different cycles. And if there's a popular set, um, Lego will will may decide to do another production run on it, and they may keep going as far as that, and they'll may go way past the set. There's been a lot of different sets that. Everybody in the the Lego investing community, or just anybody collecting, they it was rumored that a set was retiring, and then all of a sudden it it's still going and it's still in production, and and that's one of those things like you can't be certain if it's real or not if it's actually going to do that. So a lot of this is is based off of speculation, but you know again you know using some data that you have, you can still look at it and see when when it. It's actually going to retire, and and this one it <clears throat> this one I don't, I'd have to look up the exact um, date to see when this retired, but this this one you know went through, and this was only here for so it probably came out just before January, maybe January, and it had a pretty short run on this, so this retired, so this is about one. A little bit less than two years so if you can see maybe they maybe it was out of stock this was pretty popular so uh, this is keepa by the way if you've never seen keepa you know go to the bigger graph right here 
If you've never seen Keepa, I have a training and I'll I'll link I'll put a link up above. This actually goes over all of the this is the sales data from from Amazon just to give you a, a brief synopsis of this. So this kind of tells you this life cycle when it's being sold on Amazon. This is not on lego.com or other site. So it's based off of that data from there. And um it's a really good way to figure out where you can, you know, it give you some data as far as sales, sales rank when it's in and out of stock. So this is a pretty popular set. So it looks like they just went out of stock. Now I don't know if it retired right around here. My guess is that it I mean it could have been this was Q4, so this just could have been just so many people wanting. But they might have not it doesn't look like it came back in stock really after that. So this probably wasn't on um this probably wasn't probably retired very shortly after this end of the year with with uh, Lego. But I, as far as just figuring out the set that the sets that are going to be retired and all right, so I hope this has helped you out to to really give you some insight on retired sets. Now, it, it is people are when you see all the all the other uh, information up there the first thing I would do is honestly just go into into Lego and type in the number and see if it's a retired product or not, or maybe if it has retiring soon. Now, if you don't see any of that, it doesn't mean that it's not going to retire and that person's wrong, but they're, you know, unfortunately they're not going to have the, unless they're getting the information directly from Lego.com, they don't know for certain, but it's still probably based off of a good educated guess as far as the timelines and then the normal cycles of a lot of the different sets. Well, hopefully, hopefully that helped you out. If you could, please give us a like. Let us know that we're making great videos for you. Also, if you could, hit the subscribe button down below. That way there you get notified of any new videos that we do have. We also have a website called brickflips.com if you wanted to check out some other information online as well. So I'll see you in the next show.